for joining us. In this video segment, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, electrical power and hookup requirements for your Jenny compressors. Uh, we always advise that if you're not completely comfortable with electricity, that you employ the services of a uh, certified electrician, a licensed electrician to come out and assist you with your hookup requirements. Uh, we have a variety of compressors currently in the field uh, in a variety of voltages. Uh, there's, all, there's 115 power air compressors in single phase as well as 208, 230 volt single phase uh, as well as uh, some three phase motors. A majority of what we're dealing with uh, in the majority of our applications is 230 volt uh, single phase power. Uh, the amperage requirements and voltage requirements on those electric motors uh, needs to be adhered to within plus or minus 10% of what the rated voltage requirement on the electric motor is. That's referred to as a uh, service factor on uh, an electric motor. Marathon uh, recommends or rather says the parameter uh, is to be no more than plus or minus 10%. Uh, to be on the safe side, I usually advise people, you know, let's, let's look at more plus or minus 5, 6%, uh, not go all the way to the extremes, uh, because anytime you get to the outside edges of what the motor can do, it, it in essence leads, uh, can lead to service related issues on down the road. Uh, first and foremost, what we need to check when we're making a new installation is the voltage available at the point where the air compressor is going to be hooked up. Uh, so let's say we're dealing with a 230 volt motor. If we have 225 volts available where the motor is to hook up, uh, I'm okay with that. Let's go ahead and hook that motor up and see what happens when we try to start the motor. Uh, just be a, because you have the voltage uh, required at the point of hookup does not mean that the motor is going to run properly. Uh, there's still the uh, amperage needs to be delivered to the motor as well. Also located on the tag on any electric motor you're working with is the voltage requirement as well as an amperage requirement for that motor running in an unloaded and loaded state. Uh, if uh, your electric motor is pulling more amps than plus or minus 10%, uh, then you're outside of the service factor of that electric motor, and you need to make necessary adjustments to bring your amperage down. Uh, normally speaking, if you have the voltage and you're pulling too many amps, you probably do not have the adequate size of wire coming from the fuse panel in order to pull that load. So again, the services of a professional electrician would be highly advised. Uh, sometimes you can install what's known as a transformer uh, closer to the point of origin uh, where you're going to try to pull the load to rectify the voltage and the amperage closer to the electric motor itself. Uh, oftentimes, if you have hooked up an electric motor on an insufficient power supply, that can lead to a couple of conditions with an electric motor. Uh, one would be it won't start at all. Uh, oftentimes people will say the motor is humming and it won't start. Usually what that means is that you have burnt up a start cap. It's located underneath these covers on an electric motor. Uh, and you're going to need to replace that start cap. But I'd be you have to rectify the voltage situation first uh, prior to uh, just putting another start cap on, otherwise the same situation will occur again. Uh, as well, when you're uh, servicing these electric motors, if you have too, too small of an electric supply, uh, you can lead to a condition where the motor will not come all the way up to speed or will run uh, in a, an up and down RPM type situation. Uh, again, that points towards either insufficient voltage or a low amperage situation. Uh, if you continue to run the motor in that type of condition, 
it will undoubtedly lead to a winding failure. Uh, we would again suggest uh, that you employ the services of an electrician to verify that your voltages are within limits. Uh, we're going to break the video here. I'm going to do some close-ups on some of these electric motors to show you what a start cap looks like uh, so that you might be able to execute that